Hi everyone, I finally found my tablet last night, so it would be good to discuss how to solve some of these cases. A uh, couple of lingering questions. Uh, the first is the gravitation problem around, around Arrakis and X that was on the content quiz. In this case, we're asked to find the magnitude of the net gravitational force among these two planets. So the things to remember are that there are two separate uh, forces on the spacecraft from uh, the planets, one is from X pointed towards X, and one is from Arrakis pointed towards Arrakis. The geometry of this problem is such that this makes a nice right triangle down here. Uh, right angle is in here in X, and the magnitude or the size of the hypotenuse is square root of 2 times a. So this allows us to solve the gravitational force uh, because in general the magnitude of the gravita or the gravitational force vector is equal to g times the mass of the planet times the mass of the spaceship divided by the separation between things squared. It has a negative sign because it's an attractive force and it's oriented along the unit vector that is pointing uh, from the spacecraft to the planet. So generally going in these two red arrows. Uh, what we need to do is find the net magnitude of the net gravitational force. The important thing here is that uh, the force from X on the spacecraft is just going to have a magnitude of G m, they end up being the same mass, uh, times the mass of the spacecraft over a squared. The mass, uh, the force of Arrakis is going to be g m little m over square root of 2 a quantity squared, which for reference is g m m over 2a squared. So taking these uh, two forces, we have to remember that this force of Arrakis is pointed up in one direction and the force of x is going in the other direction. To figure out the magnitude of the vectors, we actually have to sum them together. So we actually have a case where the force from uh, Arrak uh, x would point like that and then we add it tip to tail with the force from x. So we're actually looking for this resulting vector. The easiest way that I find to do that is to break these down into components and just add up the components. So if I go ahead and define a coordinate system here where this is x and this is y, kind of our usual same coordinate system, uh, what we're going to have is that the force of x is going to be equal to minus g m m over a squared in the x hat direction. Uh, the force of Arrakis is going to be minus g m m over a squared uh, times the cosine of the angle uh, between them. So I'd say that is the angle theta. So the cosine of the angle in the x hat direction minus, or oh, sorry, plus g m m over, oh sorry, these are 2a squared because that's the force from Arrakis, 2a squared sine theta in the y hat direction. Okay, so given these pieces, we can go ahead and start to solve things out. This is a uh, two sides of the same, so theta is equal to 45 degrees. Theta is equal to 45 degrees, and therefore the cosine and the sine of that are both square root of 2 over 2. root of 2 over 2. Uh, so given those pieces, we have that this force all together uh, just comes down and becomes g m m over 2a squared times root 2 over 2 plus g m m over 2a squared times root 2 over 2. Oh, I forgot my unit vectors. This is the y vector. This is the x vector x vector. And so to calculate the magnitude of the force, f uh, total, that's going to be equal to the square root of the x component, fx quantity squared, plus fy quantity squared. 
So uh, that is equal to, uh, we'll look at this together. So this is the square root of, let's add up the x components. Well, we have one from x, so that's uh, g m m over a squared, there's a negative on it, uh, minus uh, g m m over 2a squared times root 2 over 2 quantity squared. So that's the x. I've just taken the x component for x and the x component for Arrakis and added them up, square them, and I add that to the y component of the vector. So then that's just in the x component, uh, the Arrakis component, which is g m m over uh, 2a squared times the square root of 2 over 2 quantity squared. And so given those two pieces, we can go ahead and solve uh, the problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a gmm over a squared from every term. And that pulls out of the radical, gmm over a squared times the square root of, this turns out to be 1 plus root 2 over 4 quantity squared. I've ended up squaring a negative 1. I factored out a negative 1 and squared it, so it went away. Uh, plus root 2 over 4 quantity squared. And from here, I can substitute in the values for gmm over a squared that are given in your problem and uh, figure out uh, this number here. And we have our answer. Okay, that's